Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to make a broccoli like this one. First go to File, New, or click the Create New button. Choose Web, Minimum, and then make a title. I'm going to call mine Broccoli 3 because I already have some other broccolis. I'm going to leave the orientation as horizontal and then click create. Here is my nice blank document. I'm going to go ahead and open up the swatches. Window, swatches, and there is a nice, a couple of nice greens on here so I'm just going to use this palette. I'll click on this medium green color, then go over here to my fill and swatch area push X on the keyboard to bring the stroke forward and then click None. Now L on the keyboard is the ellipse tool and what I'm going to do is just drag out a few ovals to make the general shape of a broccoli. I think I'm going to go with something like five. Now notice that I, I'm as I'm drawing this oval if I hold down the space bar, I can actually move it. So that is convenient. And one, two. So holding down the space bar while I'm still drawing lets me move that. And there is my last one, something like that. Okay, V on the keyboard lets me switch to the Move tool. I'm going to move this one down just a little bit. Now I'm going to draw a box around all of these to select all of them. And over here in the Pathfinder, I'm going to click the first button, which is Unite. Now to give it the, the kind of crinkly look, I'm going to go up here to this menu, Effect, Distort and Transform, Roughen. And I'm going to choose Smooth, and then I will just move these sliders around until I get it the way I like it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So mine happened to be 2% and 9%, but yours could be totally different. I'll click OK. Um, I think I'll make this a little bigger, so I'm just going to drag it. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to work on the stem, so I'm going to uh, click off and choose a lighter green color. Oh, so I didn't do that right. Let me put the stroke to none. Click X or push X on the keyboard to bring the fill forward. Now I'm going to choose my green. And uh, M on the keyboard switches to the rectangle tool. So I will draw out a rectangle. I'm going to move it down here a little bit for now. Now I'm going to draw three more rectangles. So one here, one here, and one here. Now I'm going to V on the keyboard to switch to the move tool. And if you hover the cursor around the outside corner, you can move that. Or I'm sorry, you get the rotation arrow. I'll leave this one straight up and down. And hovering the cursor on the corner, I can rotate this something like that. I want this one to be a little bit wider. All right, I think that looks pretty good in general. Now I'm going to uh, click and drag a selection around these four pieces and then go to Pathfinder, the first button, which is Unite. Now I'll scooch that up a bit and I want to um, make this broccoli go behind or make the stalk go behind the, the fluffy part. So I'm going to hold down Control or Command on the keyboard and then use 
left bracket, which is next to P on the keyboard. That's the shortcut to make that go behind. Now I am going to make the face. So I need black for the eye. I'm going to uh, magnify this. And L on the keyboard for the ellipse tool. I'll hold down shift to make a circle. That looks pretty good. And uh, D select, control shift A, switch to white. And I will draw another circle. I'm going to make a, a, a new kind of eye for this video. So I'm going to have the main gleaming part. And now I'm going to draw a smaller gleam. Now V on the keyboard for the uh, selection tool. Click all three of these. Uh, right click and group. Now holding down Alt on the keyboard, click and drag a copy. Now I'm going to work on the mouth. So the mouth, I'm going to go for black, but it needs to be a black stroke. So I'm going to use the swapper arrow. So fill none, black stroke. And L on the keyboard. I'm going to drag out a an oval, maybe something kind of like that. And, but it's too, um, it's not wide enough. So over here in the appearance panel under stroke, it says one point. I'm going to open that up and oh, let's try, oh no, six is too much. Let's try five. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Now A on the keyboard to get the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. I'm going to click this anchor point at the top and then hit delete on the keyboard. Now this looks pretty good, but I don't like the way this has um, flat ends. I want them to be rounded. So what I'm going to do is go to window, stroke, and I'm going to click the side menu and show options. And here are my caps. I'm going to choose round cap and that looks much better. So control shift A to deselect and I'm going to make this fit on the screen. Pretty good. I don't know. I think maybe this needs to be a smidge, a smidge bigger. Mm -hmm. I think that's finished. That's it, everybody. Have fun.